Hello, good morning. Before I uh, read the book Mole music today, I was going to um, have fun teaching a song called Hans Michael about a boy named Hans Michael who does just what he likes. He lives in a sunny, 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 sunny land and he does just what he likes. And he, what he likes to do is he likes to build instruments. So he builds a violin or a fiddle, he calls it, and he fiddle, fiddle, fiddles. Can you pretend you're playing the violin? Fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. He also makes a clarinet. Can you pretend you're playing clarinet? It's a long instrument and it goes doodle, doodle, do. And fiddle, fiddle, fiddle. And then he plays a big bass drum. rum a tum a tum So he's got this big drum in front of him. All right, you ready? All right. And the rest of it is pretty easy. It goes, Hans Michael lived in a sunny, sunny land. I could keep going and adding all the instruments I know, which is super fun. Plink a plink a plink on the piano. I mean, there's um, numerous things you could say about because there's so many instruments, but I don't want to take any more time. That story sets the mood for the book I'm about to read called Mole Music. And without further ado, here it comes. Hi, I hope you enjoyed Hans Michael. And yeah, he liked building instruments and he liked playing instruments. And I'm going to read a story today called Mole Music. And I want you to listen to the story. And as I read it, <clears throat> and I'm going to also play some very famous music in the background. And I'm going to ask you what instruments are playing, maybe that you can hear. And I'm going to rem try to remember the story and imagine what is happening as the mole practices violin. So I'm going to play music in the background and I'm moving up so you can see the book. So here we go. Mole Music by David McDowell. So remember the story as I'm reading it and try to remember what is happening as the mole practices his violin. Mole lived all alone underground. He spent his days digging tunnels. That doesn't sound very fun. It sounds like a lot of work. At night, he ate his supper in front of the TV and then went to bed. Mole liked his life, but lately he had began to feel there was something missing. Mole liked his life, but lately he had begun to feel there was something missing. One night on the television, a man played the violin. He made the most beautiful music Mole had ever heard. I want to make beautiful music too, Mole said to himself. So the next day, he sent away for a violin of his own. Every day, Mole checked his mailbox. No violin. Finally, after nearly three weeks, it arrived. Mole was so excited.
He picked up the violin and drew the bow across the strings. But instead of beautiful music, all he made was horrible screeching sounds. Violin is actually a really hard instrument to play. Mole tried again. The violin still screeched, but not quite so horribly. <laughs> Look at the plants. They're like, ugh. The birds flew away. Mole kept at it. After about a week, he could play one note, then two, and before a month went by, he could play an entire scale. A scale is do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, fa, so. Mole continued to practice. He learned to put the notes together in a simple song. Notice the animals are starting to come and the trees perked up. Years went by. Years. Mole got better and better. Boy, a long time ago had gone by because the tree was big then. He was happier than he'd ever been. During the, the day, he, during the day as he dug tunnels, Mole hummed the music he would play at night. Now, Mole played even better than the man he'd seen on TV so long ago. Sometimes he wondered what it would be like to play his music for people. Sounds like he already is. He imagined himself playing before a huge audience. He imagined that he played for presidents and queens. He even imagined that his music could reach into people's hearts and melt away their anger and sadness. Why, maybe his music could even change the world. Why, maybe his music could even change the world. Mole laughed at himself. They're all throwing their weapons away and listening to his music. It brought them peace in their hearts. How silly I am, he thought, imagining that my music could do all that when no one has ever even heard it. Actually, they all heard it. Mole played one more song, then put down his violin and went to sleep and dreamed beautiful, peaceful dreams. So, as you listen to my story, and I wonder what messages you got from it. Well, some of them, maybe, I bet one of you might be saying, well, to play well, you have to play a long time. You have to practice a lot. Learning an instrument is hard work. I think Mole touched a lot of people's lives with his violin. And this music you heard in the background was by a very famous composer named Vivaldi. He was a violinist, lived long ago, and he wrote the seasons, the four seasons, which uh, you were listening to spring. And so it sounded very happy and light and joyful. Maybe something you could do is put the music on again and maybe draw something that the music inspires inside you as you're listening. Maybe it's nature. Maybe it's a special memory you have. Something that makes you feel excited or happy or joyful or peaceful. So go practice, go draw, go listen to music, and go have fun. Bye-bye.